Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nev Reviews. Now if this is your first time watching us here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also toggle on that little bell. That way you'll be notified when our next great video comes out. Don't run away though, because today we've got a really exciting review for you. We're going to be taking a look at this Smart Feed Automatic Pet Feeder from PetSafe, right? It looks really cool. It's got some really good features, right? This is going to really allow us to uh, be away from our pets with peace of mind that they're going to get fed okay. So, uh, you know, let's get it out of the box and set it up and see how she goes. All right, so here's the unit. You want to see what's in the box, Leo? You want to see what's in the box? Leo? You want to see what's in the box? Let's see what's in the box. Let's see what's in the box. What's in here? What is that? Yeah. Look out. Come on, look out. Good boy. What's in here? Oh, look, you could sit in that. All right, so here's the unit. Looks like it's on its side, so I'm just gonna put the box down like this. Look at Bubby. And slide it out. There we go. What is that? What is that? Oh, and look, it's a box to play in too. All right, let's put you over there. Let's put you over there. There we go. All right, so let's just take the bag open. Get an instruction book. Boxes are fun, aren't they? Yeah. Let's just see if there's anything else in the box we need. Nope. What is that? All right. Lid comes off the hopper. Let's just put that on the cardboard so it doesn't get damaged. So here we have, what's in this box? It's another box. Here, look. What was that? What's in there? What's in there? What's in there? Oh, power adapter. <laughs> Come here, Leo. Come here. There you go. Okay, power it up down. Now uh, three different outlet adapters for the power adapter. Cool. You love the camera tripod. All right, so, boom. It just goes on there. So you've got your standard. There you go, don't move the tripod. All right, so it just folds out to your standard two flat American style pins, or if you've got your other outlet adapter, it just slides in here like this, boom. So there's our Aussie two pin. So that's done. 
stainless bowl. This looks like bowl holder. What's she doing? And uh, there's our unit. So you can see the conveyor inside there, which feeds our bickies out the top. What you doing, Bob? And where they come out, of course. Some tape on the side here. What are you doing? You're so beautiful. It's the kind of kind of tape you find in refrigerators, holding the shelves in in transit. Okay, so this uh, this must keep the. Okay, so that's what keeps the hopper on. That's really easy to remove. Boom, and there's the uh, the inside of our unit. So. There's a the little conveyor. And motor and all the wiring and everything. Sensors and it's inside the unit. All right. So that's basically what we get with our kit. Um, additional to the two other outlet adapters. You either need them or you won't. Um, okay, so let's see how we put this bad boy together. There's all our parts inside the box. Well, we've already figured that out. Set up and assemble. Remove the components that's inside the food hopper. Done that. We recommend you wash and rinse the bowl. The bowl holder. Food hopper. lid and the conveyor. Once the parts are dry, ensure a conveyor belt lip is aligned with the arrows on the side. Replace the conveyor and the food hopper. How do we get the conveyor out, Leo? How do we get the conveyor out? Right, there's a little red lever down here, so I'm going to try and just unlock that. Oh, yeah. That's easy. So there's the conveyor assembly for the unit. Cool. All right. So let's um, wash these things and uh, let them air dry. And the lid tells us to wash the lid. So. We basically wash everything except the body of the unit and then we'll power it up and try it out. Okay guys, so here's all the pieces now. Alright. Hey Leo, look at all your things. Alright, so here's all the bits that we've washed. Now, I'll let them dry for 24 hours just to make sure there's no moisture left in them. In addition to that, I didn't actually wash the conveyor. I just wet a paper towel and kind of wiped it because I didn't want any water to get into the mechanism or anything. You can pull this plate off the bottom and access the bottom of the conveyor. That must be like a little crumb catcher, I suppose. But even so, I love you too, Leo. Even so, like a lot of it is enclosed. The belt itself is segmented and, you know, it's got metal screws. Really didn't want to, you know, wet it. Definitely didn't want to submerge it. So I've just wiped it. It's brand new anyway. The hopper, um, fully washed it, soap and water. The bowl holder, well, I mean, you know, it really shouldn't get licked anyway. Would have been funny if he licked it. Um, the lid for the unit, uh, again, fully washed it. What I really like 
uh, is even the little spring for the lid retainer is plastic. So it's not gonna rust or anything, makes it fully washable, which is great. Uh, and I did forget one thing, which is the bowl. Now I know it's stainless steel, so fully washable and everything. Uh, having said that, it is very thin. Um, I reckon, careful Leo. It is very thin and I reckon when the bickies fall into this, it's gonna be quite noisy. Um, but anyway, so let's put the machine together, all right? I'm just gonna draw your attention inside the unit now. We're gonna look at a couple of things. You'll see they've even taken care of wire management to the unit, which tells me it's you know nicely engineered. The wires have a really clear route and they've all been retained to the edge of the unit and everything, hot glued at the bottom. You know, nothing's really loose or anything. Uh, another great feature is the battery tray. And I thought, how the hell am I gonna get batteries in this thing? Well, it's got a drawer at the front, right? Whole battery tray comes out. You put your four Ds in there. And then in she goes, right? Fully accessible from the outside, which is great. And you can see that from the inside view here, right? Just pushes in against those contacts. And there's, you know, your batteries in there for your battery backup for when the power goes out. Cool, huh? All right, another thing I'll show you is this little red retainer. I don't really cover this in the instructions. Okay, that's our drive unit for the conveyor, and that's how it's retained in the unit, okay? So, first we're gonna start by putting our conveyor in, okay? All right, so we've got our conveyor assembly, all right? So we just feed it in back first like this, down into the body of the unit, like that, into the drive assembly. And then we just get the red retainer, push it forward and lock it in like so. All right, pretty simple. And it just kind of sits in there. All right. You can see it's engaged with the, with the drive motor just by lightly rocking it back and forth. Next in goes our hopper. And it's just retained into the unit by a couple of clips on the side. Just a bit of downward action with those. Click them in, boom, that's our hopper in there. Right go. You can see it's got a little agitator built into it at the bottom here, just to massage the bickies to agitate them into the conveyor assembly. All right, so one thing we need to remember is of course this conveyor is empty, right? So when we first fire this thing up and ask it for a first dose of bickies, you're not gonna get any, okay? This is why later we're gonna to need to load or prepare the conveyor. We'll come back to that, you'll see exactly what I mean. All right, so we might as well put the lid on it as well. Okay, lid just sits in here like this. It doesn't have a hinge, it's just got a couple of lugs like that. Click it down, okay? So it is very simple, but it's nice and firm unless you have an extremely dexterous animal, he's not gonna be able to open that. I know what you're thinking, challenge accepted. So that's basically the unit together, right? Now we've just got our bowl holder and our bowl. So if you wanna put batteries in the unit, do that now, four Ds, boom. And then our bowl assembly, okay? So it just sits under the unit like that. Lift the unit up, put the bowl under it. Sit our bowl in, okay? And she's together, cool. What do you think, Leo? Where's the pickies come out? Are they in here? Where are the pickies? Yeah. Let's fire it up. All right, so now it's time for our power adapter. So remember, we've already selected the outlet end that we want, okay? 
What do you think, Leo? Yeah, Daddy's got the power. So let's just unwrap the cord. Okay, and now our jack goes in the back of it. So what we might do is just take the bowl assembly off it for a sec. And you'll see the jack socket in the bottom there, just there. Okay. Leo. All right. Come on, Leo. And kiss the tripod. Yeah. All right. So that's got our power adapter plugged into our jack, and it gives you three options of where you want the cord to come out, okay? So we're just going to bring it out this side. Okay. Put our bowl back under. Let's plug it in, see what we get. All right. Got a power indicator. Is it on, Leo? Is it Bicky time? Is it Bicky time? Right, I think we better get the old book out now and have a look. All right, so if we skip through to page eight, it gives us our uh, light, color, and pattern decode chart here. All right, we've got a yellow blinking light, which means the feeder has power and it's in setup mode, so that's cool. So basically, it looks like we need to uh, get the app on the phone now and uh, set it up from there because it goes, it goes straight from cleaning, turning on, and then get in the app. So let's get the PetSafe app on the phone and uh, probably put some bickies in too by the looks of it, and then we'll set it up. All right, so I guess I'll add some bickies first. So this is Leo's bickies. You like these, don't you? This is straight out of his old machine that just doesn't work properly. So you can see it's you know gonna hold a lot of a lot of bickies in there. Um, this is plenty to give it a try, and that's quite a few days worth for Leo. So I've downloaded the PetSafe app onto my iPad. It was really easy to find on the App Store. If you've got a Google device, it is on the Google Play Store. I've added Leopold as a pet. And what we're going to do now is add a product and we're going to add a smart feed. So it says we're going to set up our smart feed. So we've assembled it, we plugged it in, we've turned it on. And uh, it says now it's ready to connect and it should have a blinking orange light, which it does. Cool. Uh, yep. So now we're going to connect to the internet. So what we need to do now is we need to connect our iPad to the actual unit, its internal Wi-Fi. So we need to go into settings and connect to the Wi-Fi. I'm going to do this off screen because I'd rather keep my Wi-Fi networks private. And we're just going to navigate into our Wi-Fi settings and find the PetSafe Wi-Fi address and connect to it, which we've got there. Our white light has gone solid. Cool. So there we go. Now we need to choose our home's Wi-Fi network to connect the unit to our home Wi-Fi, which again I'm going to do off screen. Now we've got a blinking blue light, which means it's trying to find our home Wi-Fi network. And the lights slow down and it's gone solid. Cool. So our unit's now connected to our home Wi-Fi. Success. All right. Smart feed is now connected to the internet. It's got a solid blue light. Now we're going to customize it. Uh, oh, okay, cool. We can name our smart feed Leo's Bicky Robot. Uh, <laughs> Okay, and it's co corrected it to Leo's Billy Robot. All right, we can change that later. Um, so which pets will be using uh, this unit? It's what's well, Leopold. Uh, time zone, that's correct. 
and now we can uh, find out some information about it. So it says it's uh, it's low on food. It still does have plenty in there, but obviously it's not full full. Settings. Uh, shows you some details on it. Pets. It's just got Leopold. You can obviously add more if you have more pets. Um, battery backup not installed because we don't have batteries in it. Alright, so first of all, let's prime the feeder. Remember we need to load the conveyor. And you can hear it whirring away now. And the bickies are dropping in. And out they come. Cool, so the conveyor is full now. Ready to be primed. That's okay Leo, you can have some in a minute. Let's pop them back in the top. Good boy. Alright, so now we've got the conveyor loaded. Let's set up a feeding. So we want to go into schedule. Uh, and it's uh, 827, so let's set up a feeding for 8. 30 and we'll select the amount so we're going to use an eighth of a cup for Leo um, but you can see there's lots of other dosings you can choose all the way up to four cups but we're going to choose eighth of a cup done and save cool it's in there now all right so let's um Let's just wait and see if it works. And there we go, 8.30, spat out the food. How cool is that? Very cool. What do you think, Leo? What do you think? All right, so Leo's meal time isn't really till nine, so I'm just gonna put this back in, Bobby. Okay, and put it back in, and we'll reset it to nine. All righty, there we go. Good boy, though. All right, so let's um, let's just change this to 9 p.m. now. Same portion, we'll save that. Bang. Now let's have a look at activity. Oh, there we go. Today. Cool. So manual snack, that would have been when we primed the conveyor. It's registered that it spit it out, so schedule meal 8.30, cool, all right. Oh, back on the home screen, next meal, nine o'clock, one-eighth of a cup, cool, all right. Well, how about we try it out for a, a while, Leo, and see how it goes? Yeah? Cool, all right. We'll check back in with uh, TV Land a little bit later. All right, guys, well, we've been using the PetSafe automatic feeder for three months now and um, really all I can say about it is it's great. It hasn't jammed once which is just so much better than our old unit um, and so much better for, for Leo as well. You get notifications when he's been fed through the day once you've set the schedule and everything they'll come through on your on your device um, so you get that reassurance that when you're away it's done its job and, and fed your, your pet. Um, so it's, it's just really cool. In addition to that, if you go out and it's a little bit early to give your animal dinner, but then you're gonna be out way past dinner time, you can do a manual feed, which is really cool, which I'll show you now. You can go in here and uh, we can just push feed now.
okay, and out it comes. Now that doesn't matter where in the world you are because this is on the internet. It's not Bluetooth or anything. As long as you've got internet access on your device and the internet is working at home, your animal's gonna get that feed, which is really cool. So could the unit be improved on at all? Like anything out there, it isn't perfect. Oh, hey Leo, you think it's pretty damn good there, don't you? It, um, you know, it, it could, in my opinion, have some improvements. It's already connected to the internet. So, you know, I really feel like it would be cool if it did have a little camera. So along with notifications of it spitting out the food, you'd have a record of your animal actually eating the food, which I think would be a great added extra. Um, also, the, uh, the bowl's a little noisy. It could put off jumpy pets. Uh, Leo is still a little bit sort of scared of it if he's near it and it goes off and he's not expecting it. But, um, you know, I think you could probably just put a plastic bowl in its place or something and that would fix that. The only thing I would say that uh, I feel like could catch you out is that it gives you a notification of when the food is low um, and you push, push notification in the same place that you get the notification of where your pet's been fed, um, but you only get it once. So if you happen to miss that, which I did once, um, you don't actually know until you notice that it's not spitting out enough bickies. Um, so I think it'd be really cool if it had a, an extra light on here to indicate when, when the hopper was low. If you go into the app, it does, it does tell you, um, but you know, if the machine's, if the machine's working properly, well, you know, it does say low food, um, but if the machine's working and doing your thing, well, you don't really go into the app much. So I think really that's the only, you know, two things that they could improve on. It could have a camera and it could have a low food indicator. Other than that, it's perfect. Leo loves it. I love it because it's, it just works. So, you know, if you're thinking about getting a feeder, make it this one, it's fantastic. It's definitely worth the money um, for the features you get and just the way it's built because, you know, it, it works. So really, honestly, I give it a nine and a half out of 10. Hey, Leo, Leo. Do you like your feeder? You like your feeder? He loves it. So thanks guys. I know it's been a long review, but I did want to make it, you know, in depth and uh, meaningful so that uh, you can make a, an informed decision. So from me and Leo, catch you next time on Nev Reviews.